Hello everyone, this is Andrew, and this daily kind of newsletter, I'll be uh, just mentioning some things I've done today. Um, didn't do a lot, but I did help make tuna casserole and it tastes like, tastes bomb. It was, uh, it was nice. I uh, did uh, stir the, the, the the pasta or whatever it was in in the pot and stuff until it got really good and I my uh, grandma did the rest but I was still watching over the food and it was cool um, there's some leftovers right now so yeah but I uh, went for a walk it was all right um, I've been making some issues for myself that I'm trying to resolve I'm, I'm supposed to be exercising like every day, but uh, the thing is, is that uh, I don't really like to go on the bus all the time, so. Can we see the video? Yeah. So, uh, oh, that's hot. Ouch. Um, I, I'm always hoping that my friend can give me a ride to the gym and shit, but um. Uh, never does and he says I make excuses I might as well think think that way too it's just just a hassle to I have to ride bus 12 all the way to the station then go to bus 8 or 22 all the way to old station and then walk to the gym and then be at the right time so I can go to the bus and go back to link transit and then go back home I, I don't know, maybe I'm just asking for a little bit of motivation. I'm not getting my energy from anyone, but that motivation could could really be a great thing, no matter who watches or not, you know? <sighs> I've been, uh, as you see, I got my coffee right here. It's hot. Uh, there is no, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't start the coffee pot, so I just basically made my own coffee out of the whatever Holger's or whatever it's called put some two 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 cups of it inside and added some three scoops of sugar I don't take sugar all the time but yeah I'm hoping that this coffee will be able to give me some energy for the rest of the day I'm having because I'm going through a lot of mental toughness and mental fatigue for some reason and uh, all together it is helping me with the forefront of my mind and uh, understanding how how to persevere through it. I don't know. I don't exactly know what words I'm using right now. It's just I want to consider it autopilot or anything. Just but this stress is really good because it makes like so many moments of time worthwhile. But it's obsessive in a way. So, obsessive energy of creativity, who knows if that is great or not great. Um, I don't do a lot of mediation or meditation because I know it only leads to certain areas because of meditation is not your friend. It's just a thing you do. They say you, med you meditate all the time when you're walking, when you're doing all this, but when you converge all ideas into one or nothing, it's kind of like... What, why would you give that point anyways? How do we know that it's logical the way that that's being thought? So that's why I don't follow the rules of personal development. I don't even go through it. I just do my own thing. And uh, obviously I know that when people say we're one, we're one family or we're in unity. Like obviously that's, that's a partial truth. That's obviously true in some way. But it's not a full truth. Partial truths don't really have much validity. And I wouldn't say for everything I say or do have much validity either. But um, it's just like that. I like these constructive talks. That's what I'm going to be calling them constructive talks. Where I could just keep on going with the frame of reference of what I'm thinking of in my head. And just move, keep, keep, uh, keep moving in a 
very different way of different type of flow lots of flow and just constantly shifting and changing but at the same time a more reliable standpoint instead of rushing things and getting things that you want right away so you take a break from a lot of stuff take a big break and try to find as a certain type of validity that isn't complete or incomplete that uh you're able to just stay in the present or whatever present you call and uh the concentration is a great skill to have when you're totally there they call it the flow state but there's many different types of flow too so I'm just going off in a tangent a little bit but uh, that cat oh my god the cat wants to go inside interesting um Anyways, I'm working on something, working on new models for new ideas that are coming into the fruition, but after a while I'm like, what's the point of that? What's the point of these ideas if they really don't have an impact? And I don't want a direct impact. That's so, It's like something you want is not what you want, but it is probably what you want. You're just... We're just stuck in a lot of mental perceptions and uh, me and my friend might have arguments and say well your your perception is simple my perception is complex or you you have a different idea or we have a different and I appreciate that I appreciate the difference of perspective but sometimes like you see a lot of similarities in how people like talk and think but Obviously, it's understanding that they're not, nobody is exactly the same as another person. It's, it's such a beautiful way of thinking. Now, sometimes I don't even know what's coming out of my mouth because I did doze off or zone out for a bit. But when you're really present, do things seem to change or shift? I don't know. I'm sounding like a dumbass right now. A big old dumbass. Being comical a little bit. I'm not. I'm not trying to be negative. Obviously, there. I'm not trying to be negative at all. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah. So um. Well, I'm getting a little shy. It's rarity. Whenever I remember how I felt when I was younger, I start to get into that shy feeling. And I, I kind of enjoy my shyness, enjoy my confidence too. You know, sort of like a plurality, pl plura, plura, ha, plural, plura, plurality, um, whatever. I don't know. But um, let's see how hot this is now. It's still hot. I can't drink that yet. I just need to relax for a bit, rock this chair. So, anyways, that's all I got to say for now. But, uh, just a little bit of a newsletter for the day. See you.